Hello, and welcome to Lords of the Fallen. So we'll be getting straight back into it today. If I remember correctly, we were looking to go down the other path through the mines. Rather than through this area, weren't we? We've just got into this, yeah, the Forsaken Fen, and we can see our first, what will probably be the first proper boss that will see us progress through the main quest line over there yes over one over yonder one thing i found out about as well is while i've been uh, going through this um not only do these have names these uh, vestiges but you can actually from this menu you can actually read the flavor text on the right here which is quite nice. So, where are we now? We're at, um, Vestige of Oleron. Oh, vested by accident, whatever. Um, but yeah, we will warp to, I believe we'll be warping to our Vestige Seedling at this point. So we'll be going back there. Well, I'll see if I can remember to read the flavour text between uh, warps and things at this point. Right. So this should be at the start of the mines. It is. Remember not to sprint down there. It's a bit treacherous to fall that far. I can hear someone there going, ah, sentinels or something. Ow. I'm trying as well. Well, we've just got some smaller, weaker enemies about. I'm going to actually try to, um, yeah, practice without, um, using the target lock. Looks like there's an item here as well that I've missed from earlier. Right, be careful. Damn sentinels and say damn bells. My bastards. Insult to Gerlinda's skills. Waste of her time. Right. Damn sent insult to Gerlinda. It looks like we might have a smith then here who we might be able to rescue. If we can get this open. So it will be worth our time doing this. Um. Oh, there's a way down here without jumping down. There's a ladder just there. Damn bells! <laughs> that was actually rather skillful in the end. Ah, uh, you can tell I'm not using that target for time. I'm beginning to get used to it. I think the issue is... So... The thing that's different between, say, this and maybe... Um, God of War or something. Oh, dear. Is, say, on this, I want to do an attack and then I do a thrust there... If I say tack and thrust and there's like a window in which I can move. So I can't move at the, yeah, you can kind of move at the beginning of your attack, but not after. So I can flick it to the right and left there and then back a bit. 
but I can't, for example, yeah. flick it to the right or forwards sort of like after the initial like half second wind up of the attack. So you, you've got a bit of movement in between strides. So you kind of have to almost like a rhythm game I'm beginning to get the feel for. So it's like attack and move, now I can move again with the next attack and the next one. So you kind of have to time it right if you're going to do it without the uh, um, lock-ons. If you lock on though, it'll just automatically seek the nearest enemy, I guess. Ah, return from Umbral there. So, you're not another of these fools. Good. That key. It over. Sure. No one gets the better of Gerlinda for long. Finally, make a slave of Gerlinda. Ha! You made a slave of me. You don't count. Looks like she's got a friend there Damn as well. Sentinels. Doing an old Grawak a kindness. Aren't you a credit to your species? <laughs> Doing an old... <laughs> huh. Is she not human then? Right. We'll see if we can do something about this. It would appear we can. Defiance Ring. We've still not bought that ring back at the main base or anything, have we? Not that it matters now, because we've now got another one. Increase resistance to all status effects. Which, if we're going to this Fen thing, might actually be a good idea. Right. Looks like the enemies might be beginning to need the pilgrim's perch key to open this door. They were just about to turn up then, weren't they? <laughs> right. Okay. Well, we've explored. Oh, and a bit of vigor over here we'd missed. Right. So I'm assuming we'll probably find her back at the uh, main area in a while. Possibly. In the meantime, though, I think we will head back to where we were and go down that fen. So, the lookout. Emerging from the vast drylands far to the west, the weathered, lionic stranger named Oleron rode into Mornstead one morning, never revealing the reason for his arrival, if he had one at all. But whatever mysteries lay in the long shadow he, tra he trailed behind him, there was never any ambiguity over the wrath he brought down upon the deserving after he became a lamp-bearer. The thundering of his weapons echoing across the kingdom, only to finally fall silent during a defiant stand amidst the st uh, stagnant waters of the forsaken fen. So this one died at the fen. Well, I mean that's the thing, isn't it? They all died at well where you found where you find them. Must have been big fellas and all. <laughs> Unless the process of turning into a vestige um, makes you massive. I mean, you never know, maybe it does. <laughs> maybe your bones grow out like a tree. 
Oh, I see what's going on here. Oh dear. <laughs> I'm about to say, that guy's going to try and shoot us off, so we'll have to be quick. Oh no, it's, it's worse than that. <laughs> But we'll just beat a boss. <laughs> oh no. That was just the warm up boss. And one thing I will say about the uh, the parrying system on this game, I actually quite like the idea that you just. Oh dear, it looks like I'm poisoned or something. This is no good. gone <clears throat> oh god that one shot me <laughs> the silver went into extremely angry mode and just smacked the crap out of me looks like there's also a parasite there at the back that's going to be keeping him vulnerable during that yeah it looks He's not too hard, you can seem to just block most of his attacks, and then as long as you get an attacking afterwards, you'll just recover the health, so it doesn't look too bad, compared to what it could be. Oh, hello. Iron Wayfarer. They are incredibly annoying. No, it's probably not worth wasting the mana. Yes. Beckon. Do I only get the one? It's gonna bloody kill me this way, ain't it? Little shit. Hey, so that crossbow man the way and wasted the health bar basically. Wasted one of the heals. Good news is, oh god, right, Iron Wayfarer seems to do lots of um, magic damage, because it's a big slow target. Let's 
Hazel Hill. Pitch of damage resistance. that's starting to do now. If we just end it quickly... The Wayfair is about to go, as are we. Corpses land on me. <laughs> right, I've got one more health bar. to do one less attack on those bits there. I need to do one less attack on this block. It would help, right. I'm assuming this is poison that I'm getting hit with here. So a poison cure would probably do it, I'm guessing. Now let's just take stock. Also, not getting hit by the crossbowman on the way in would help. Um, a pair of brim, brim stones heals over time, plus for mana stones. Um, spinal column used to regenerate soul flare charges. Uh, used to grant vigor. Um, let's see. Could add some holy damage to our weapon. Uh, I don't think it's the bleed status, I think it is poison. Neutralizes poison, temporarily increase, and provides temporarily increased resistance to poison attacks. We want those, don't we? And rather than soul flare charges, let's go with... In fact, haven't we... No, we're one off from being able to apply... Uh, radiance to our own weapon, aren't we? Using just like a spell. Hmm. Right. Let's add those there. <coughs> Let's get P uh, Pieter down here then, this time. There's the crossbowman, let's not allow him to have his way with us. So much of a difference so far from Pieta. Well, she is getting pounded a bit. Ah, the caught me mid swing. Right, get ready to block again. Yep, there it is. Heal number one. Get the block just in time, then. Yeah. 
block ready. Yep, gonna set. It's gonna definitely ah attack twice. Let's get some damage resistance on. I don't know how we've managed it this time, but we have managed to avoid the poison damage. I'm wondering if maybe it's, yeah, can you see there's a little cloud around him now? Maybe he creates like a cloud of it on the floor? Perhaps? It's very difficult to tell because there's that much... It's just dark to be honest to me with this. Right. Get the poison mist down me. Ow. Back up, back up. Now he's landed on me. He's apparently trying to eat me. <laughs> I was going to say, surely I still get to come back number, right? Poison's building up again. Not great news for me, that. <laughs> getting there each time, like so far, we've been getting to this stage with relative ease, it's just finishing him that's proving to be the difficult part. Yeah, and he just gets those attacks in and I was blocking them, but I think his stamina was a bit too low. I did forget to put the holy weapon, uh, the holy damage on my weapon, maybe that might do. I'm also thinking that the Iron Wayfarer was better than Pieta. We've got two more poison resistance portions, so we can have a few more cracks at this. I don't think they're too expensive. I think this guy's selling them, in fact. Hello again, friend. An antidote to cure poison status. Yeah, they're 250, they're not expensive. May your path be blessed. We'll try the other guy this time. Stunned. Holy damage resistance. We'll put the holy damage on our weapon. Definitely the place to be seems to be behind his leg rather than in front, if possible, if possible, <laughs> but if not possible, just hack it to the yeah, two attacks and then he's going to attack again, yep, we, we seem to be able to get two in, one, two, 
Kinda see much. What? Get a healing, because I saw that we were getting more of them. Get rid of the poison. on the weapon we're burning some heals pretty quick here Healing. Ah. Ooh. We're either going to undo it. Yeah. <laughs> This guy has actually lasted the best out of all of them so far. I think I saw a parasite from them, but it doesn't seem to be doing much for him. If it is, yeah, it's... Okay, we're going to need some items, I think, then. We're going to need some more poison bombs and things. I also, while I'm at it, I should also just double-check my equipment as well. So we do have... We have been picking up more items and armor and things now. Ooh, what can I also... Oh, is this to put a second weapon in my other hand? Ooh. I guess I could <laughs> double long sword. <laughs> I bet this is unusual. Right, let's just go and have a faff. Right. So get somewhere we can just have a faff. <laughs> So these are like wide sweeping attacks. Big heavy attacks. Run and spin. And a big uppercut. Okay. Um, or we could go with our plain shield here. Might be a bit better. But then again, once you've attacked... Once you attack, you regain health if you've had it withered. So, you know... We, as long as we've got... As long as we can block... It doesn't matter if it's withering a bit or all of it. The one thing I will say is this kind of... It's just a lot of... Sweeping attacks. If I want to do a lunge, can I do a sprint into a lunge? I can if I do a light attack. Okay. Hmm. I guess I can always swap back to this. Um. Oh, but my encumbrance goes to heavy. So hang on. Oh. That could be an issue. Yeah, so that's a bit much. And I'm guessing if I put a big second sword on... Oh, it's well into heavy there.
I can defend with the bucket. Oh, I think the bucket is literally... It's used as a weapon, not as a shield. <laughs> um, right. Armour. Now, armour-wise, I don't think there's anything that's actually better than what we've got. I mean, sure... I could get something that maybe gives me more poison resistance. Actually, can I get better poison resistance than this? No, this has actually got... Like my armor's got some of the best resistances and just best physical. The Sin Piercer armor here actually has better physical. Actually, mine's on the top part, isn't it? I can look here. So it's slightly better physical by about 11 points. Holy damage mitigation is huge. Fire is low. Wither is decent. Smite, bleed, burn, ignite, frostbite, poison, all very poor. Oh, smite and bleed are really good. Everything else is way worse than mine. And the antique hallowed sentinel arm is surprisingly good as well. Um, but it's poison resistance that I'll be after here. Poison and physical. So that's got 71 poison. That's got 60 poison. Even though their physical is slightly higher than mine. So I think we'll stick with the paladin armor. But but the uh, van versus here might be a bit better if we swap. We'll see. They've got an interesting name. Despair's Grasp. You know, sounds like it's going to be something really cool. And I think they're just like black gloves. Um, now headgear we might have something that's better here because we did find these two things didn't we though admittedly resistances aren't much better but their physical resistance especially on, like this one is absolutely massive compared to mine As ridiculous as we look. That's, that could give me more physical resistance if I want it. Um, I am still on medium encumbrance for that. Um, <laughs> right. This would give me a bit more phys uh, poison resistance. But that physical damage resistance on um, on this is absolutely enormous right <laughs> I look like the uh, what's it pyramid head from uh, S uh, Silent Hill or something except you know it's cylindrical and spikier right Oh, and I need to have a rest because I accidentally used one of my heals while screwing around. But yeah, it looks like it probably isn't worth taking on a shield at the moment. So we'll just take this heavier armor and probably be fine with it. We'll summon... Stormund. He seemed to be faring the best. And we'll make our descent. Right. Recover the vigor. Begin the fight. Drop. He has. I 
Let's see if we can get some charged headies on this. Entire health bar went to wither then. That's why we suddenly died. It's about to do it again if I don't watch out. Get. Give me the health back. Somehow this has ended up going worse than before. Much, much worse. I've got nowhere near him this time. Stab. It didn't do the uh, stun, did it? So much for that stagger bar being a point. All lies. Yeah, we're next to Poison Cloud. Out. Ow. Almost certainly gone. Yeah. Not as good as last time. But we'll see how we go. We'll give it another try on the next episode. But I think that's probably going to do it for now. Um... We're going to have to take a breather and just go back and get some more uh, souls to get poison antidotes with. Um, well, we've still got one left, but we'll probably want to go and get some more, just so we can keep going uninterrupted. Right, thank you very much for watching. This has been Lords of the Fallen, and I will see you next time, where hopefully we'll be beating that guy. Um, maybe... If we do end up going back, it may be worth going back and getting some, um, what would we want? Probably, hmm, yeah, if we could get a level or two in maybe, possibly in Jones, just to give us a bit more stamina for blocking, and maybe health. Damage-wise, we seem to be doing fine. But yeah, maybe we get some health. Maybe that blacksmith will be back at the base now and we can upgrade our sword here. That could probably give us the edge we need as well. Right, thank you very much and I'll see you on the next episode. I'll see you then.